what's that one uh, story about where uh, he's uh, he's starting at uh, he's getting he's really sick and uh, he's with Gregory Peck you and um, and and he tells you a good life lesson. Well, it was his 82nd birthday, and uh, I went over to his house and uh, everybody was there and we had something to eat and we were waiting for the cake to come out. And we were making small talk, and he was sitting off to the side, and everybody at the table, there was, uh, all of his friends were there, you know. And, and somebody was just making small talk, waiting for the cake. We didn't know if Frank was quite, quite with us. He was just off to the side, kind of with his head down. And somebody said, where's the best place to live? And Gregory Peck said, uh, well, Veronique and I have a villa in France, and we like it there. And Robert Wagner and Joe St. John said, we have a place in Aspen and we like it there. And Frank, way over in the corner with his head down, said, the best place to live is where your friends are. And everybody went, whoa, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and my point of that is that here's a man in his career, arguably the greatest career show business has ever known, with Academy Awards, with, with you know, Grammys, uh, all the awards, Mass the Fortune. Um, and yet, in the end, it wasn't about any of those things. It was about relationships. And that's the last lesson Frank Sinatra taught me. He died five months later. 